We all know that getting your baby off to sleep can be an absolute nightmare. 16 years ago, the Nature's Nest was launched in Australia, and since then, it's been building up a steady stream of dedicated fans, parents, I'm sure, who speak of it as a miracle device which has saved them from months of sleepless nights. Joining me in the studio is Chloe Mallows from Nature's Nest and Kerry Sisma, and of course Jack, who's in the Nature's Nest, enjoying himself. Now, this sounds too good to be true, Chloe. Tell me about it. Well, basically the idea of the Nature's Nest is to create a womb-like effect for babies. Rather than being in the womb for nine months, the movements, the motions they feel, mother's heartbeat, all those sort of things, and then they're born and put onto, you know, basically a flat, hard, hard wide open space for our bed, um, which I don't think is really realistic to expect a newborn baby As to a sleep. You know, yeah, given the, the change in environment. So this was actually designed specifically for babies rather than a, um, a miniature adult bed, if you like. So the whole idea is to have a bed that is much more tactile, which is why it's more narrow than, mm. than other beds. Okay. It gives them some feel, some sense of security. Um, it's suspended by a spring, um, which you can see under this cloth here is the I spring. I mean, it looks to me like a hammock for babies. Yes, it is. A t well, yes, yeah, it is a type of hammock. Yeah. And, and I mean, obviously, Kerry, you know, tell us a bit about your story because it's quite interesting just reading through the notes. Jack wasn't very happy when you brought him from hospital, was no, he? No, he was a nightmare in hospital. He wouldn't sleep at all in the sort of fish tank type thing they had there. They used to take him away from me at night so that I could try and sleep, but that didn't work. Um, we bought a cot bed thinking, you know, money's a bit tight, we'll utilise it and he'll have it for five years. Yeah. Not a hope, didn't want to know. Just just wasn't settling? Would not settle at all, wouldn't even, you could lay him in it, he'd sleep for two or three minutes, wake up screaming, that was it. We then bought a Moses basket, which he'd maybe spend an hour in downstairs in the afternoon, that was it, nothing. We then went out and bought a swinging crib, and he wouldn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mother so, Care um, probably yeah, cleaned absolutely. up with you guys. Um, and for seven weeks he slept in our bed. Right. But he woke every hour, then he'd feed. You know, I was breastfeeding him as well. And he'd feed, he'd be awake for an hour, and I went down with a virus, and that was it. And then my mum came over, and I finally picked up the parenting magazine. My brother bought me he was in hospital, and I saw that. And he, he's looking like he's, 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 he seems to be enjoying that there. Do we need to give him a little rock and just give him a soothe? Is he, is he quite happy? So is that what you do? I mean, if, if he's absolutely, you just gently bounce them and they'll drift off to sleep. And what do you find has happened then? I mean, you know, you, you put it in, you, you start rocking, and, and and is this supposed to recreate the kind of that's right the, the movement? I mean, this is why babies will always sleep fall asleep in the car. They'll always fall asleep in the pram, but they don't always fall asleep in their bed, unfortunately. Mm. So parents yeah, that's right, often you're driving the around, movement. Aren't you? Yeah, it's all the about the movements and the motions, and you know, parents are always pacing up and down the floor, patting the back, bouncing them. Again, that's a natural instinct to bounce them. They need movement. As soon as you sit down with a baby, yeah. you know, they'll start. So they need, they basically need that movement. If you need a bit of mum's TLC, you feel free to grab him as, as you feel need to. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Make sure he's happy in there. Um, so essentially, this. This will carry him for how long? Up to approximately 12 months. We say approximately because it does. Act, it is actually guided by the baby's weight, which is 29 pounds. We often find that girls will stay in there for an extra couple of months, so they're generally smaller. So every baby's going to vary. Um, but 29 pounds, around the 12 month mark. Yeah. We're just going to get. We're going to get little Jack out and give him a little bit of mum's TLC. So I think he's missing his mum. So. What, do this, what does this retail at? They're £149.99. Um, the good thing about it as well is that it does double up as a travel cot. Right. Um, push they're push and slot tubes. All you need to do is take the two tubes away from the bottom. The bed just collapses down and it comes with its own carry case. So, so that you, you don't need a travel, today, travel cot either. We, just, we take it everywhere. If we go anywhere, we're staying away, we just take it down. We went away last week, Jack stayed with a neighbour. We just put it in its bag took it next door, put it up again. And, I mean, essentially, you're, you're looking at 150 quid and, and you felt that for that price, obviously, you've got, you know, sleep. <laughs> so what <laughs> price is sleep, I suppose? <laughs> Completely I'd paid that for the one night. I didn't care. Chris said we couldn't have one. Right. And I went and bought it anyway. And he came home and it was like, what's that? Yeah. And I was just like, please sleep. Yeah. Six hours, <laughs> first night. 
and straight that's in it. it six hours and now he sleeps between nine and twelve hours a night straight well, off he looks absolutely glorious on it he obviously looks very happy and, and and doing very well on it so tell me a little bit more about the history behind it you say it's it's come from australia yeah it's invented in australia um and we brought it to the well i say we i had my child um four years ago he's coming up to four now and he wouldn't sleep a bit like sort of Kerry, first time mum. It's quite daunting, very scary, and not really what you always expect it to be. Um, he was terrible, really bad. Uh, my sister-in-law took it upon herself to buy me one of these from America. And I have to say, when it was all up, I was very much sort of, I'm going to put my baby in that, you know. Um, but after one night, same story as Kerry, really. He woke once that night. And that was me, I was converted. And uh, when it came to sort of, Harry got to about four months old and it was kind of time to be thinking about work again and and I really didn't didn't really want to go back to be honest like many parents don't so I decided to go for this mm -hmm. um, so we got the distribution rights and everything brought it to the UK and you know it's doing really really well the last two years have been fabulous um, we do find as well the the thing with it is that we have so many stories like Kerry's yeah. and like mine we usually find it's usually second time mums that get these. Right. Um, I think oh, they. I think. I'm, I'm a I think, perfect candidate. Yes. I'm sorry, really. uh, we, I think it's because they remember sort of first time round and they look for an alternative. Yeah. The first time mums that buy them, we do have a lot of first time mums buy them, but again, they're like Kerry. They'll buy this, they'll buy that, they'll buy the cart, the Moses basket, nothing works, and they're, they're really looking well, for something that's going to help. I just need a night's sleep. That's right, yeah. And I think the sort of sleep deprivation so spoils your first mm. few months with your new baby. I mean, they're so precious, they go so quick, and you know, you really need to enjoy every minute, and you can't do that if you're sort of so tired all the time, oh. you know? So, so where they're can really you buy good. these? Are these in the shops? They're not in the shops at the moment, no, because they are, although we've been here for four years, mm. people still really don't know enough about them. I mean, mm. most part, people that buy them, buy them because they've got a friend that used them, a sister or whatever that's used them, so they get them on recommendation because they know so they it's work. Now. It's worth yeah, and, and that's it's online. Right. People should yep. know that actually nature Yes, it is on, online. online. Okay. Mm. So you liked it so much you bought the company. That's yep, the never story looked back. for you. It's and you fantastic. liked it so much you've got a night's sleep out Absolutely. of it. And I mean, essentially what you've done is if, if you put it in your bedroom, if you put it in his, his nursery. It's in our bedroom. Right. It's at the end of the bed in our bedroom. Um, he'll wake up in the morning, for an, he'll lay there for an hour before he says, I want my breakfast. And then I think from when he's six months, it'll go into his room. But I just would like him to stay in our room until he's six months. Fantastic. Well, ladies, thank you very much for coming no in thank you and for talking us. about Nature's Nest with us. It, it, as I say, it does look like a fantastic looking thing. Does it come in adult sizes? I quite <laughs> Everybody asks me that. Room, yeah. and, you know, just sort of relax, relax and recline in it. Thank you and very thank best you. of luck with little Jack. Thank you.